Hello, um, so today I'm going to be going through all of the Platinums I have at the moment. Plus, I will show you a couple I have on my Xbox. I don't play Xbox anymore, but um, I do have a couple on there that I'll show off. I'm just going to start making Platinum videos soon, and um, I thought this would be a good first video to start out. But uh, for first one, we have Ratchet and Clank. So this one took me, I think, about a week. Let me see my oldest trophy real quick. Oh, damn. Okay, 629. So it took me about two, three weeks. And uh, it was a good game. Uh, I did have a few trophies that I had troubles with. But this is like my first time really going for a platinum. Other than uh, the Spider-Man games on another account. But I don't really consider those like crazy hard. So I don't um, really care to bring them up. But the Death by Disco, I remember I had to replay the whole game uh, twice to get this one because I missed one single, um, well, what's his name? One single, that guy right there in the corner. One single Death by Disco, uh, uh, what are they called? Enemies, I'm stupid. Um, so yeah, that one was, it wasn't hard. It was a decent game. But yeah, I mean, it was a good first one because it wasn't like crazy, but... Yeah, uh, this one, Slime Rancher, this one is really fun. Uh, I literally just grinded it out. Wasn't expecting to get the Platinum until, uh, you know, I got pretty far and I was like, you might as well go for it. And this Platinum right here took me uh, 720. It didn't take me that long. Yeah, it took me about a week to do. But um, this trophy was kind of rough. It took me, I think, three hours. I think it was like three or four tries to get it because you had to make $75,000 or coins in the um, in the rush mode, which is kind of hard. But I did get it done right after the trophy, plat, uh, the trophy popped. So that was pretty fun. Recommend that one a lot. That one was really cool. I wish the second game had trophies, but I don't think they're doing it yet uh, maybe i'm wrong but at the moment from what i know they don't have it but uh, my next game i played was stray my uh, girlfriend told me to play it and i did i loved it really fun uh there's only one trophy that i had trouble with and that was this one it was just so annoying to not get hit and i was so happy when i did it took me like an hour which an hour is a pretty long time on this type of game it was pretty quick to uh platinum this one was not hard at all. I, I got it done pretty quickly because like when you started playing the game, you know, it's not hard. Um, but yeah, this is a really fun one, quick and easy. These two I'm still working on. I just, I bought in four different copies of Persona 5, uh, the PS5 version, the PS4, uh, but the Persona 5, I bought Persona 5 on the PS5. Um, I have so many copies and I just bought the Persona 5 Royal the correct version, PS4. Oh, I know what I did. I bought per Persona 5 Royal, um, the Peggy version. So it didn't count to this one. So it's because it's the it's not the NA version. It was the EU one. So I had to buy another copy on Macari. But um, I'm going to get to this eventually. I don't know if I'll make a video about it because I'm already 15 or 10 trophies in. Uh, but yeah, you know, it was fun when I from what I played, but it was a while ago. This one I'm playing with my girlfriend. I haven't played in forever. I just have to get to it at some point, but yeah, this was the next one. I just played it because it was a monthly game. It got me right back into trophies. Like before those three plats I had, this is the one I played after. Um, and it was all right. I mean, it wasn't crazy, but um, I think there was one trophy I had trouble with. This one was kind of annoying. Don't take damage. And the uh, don't get seen was a little rough too, but I mean, it was like a three out of 10 difficulty. Football Manager, I always wanted to get into this series. Um, I have a computer, and I did buy it a few years ago. I've always been into football, soccer, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this this was really fun. It just took me a long time to figure out the mechanics of the game because it's just something I can't comprehend, I guess. I don't know, because I've only played FIFA my whole life, and this is a pretty major step. Even though it's the console one, there's a little less... Uh, uh, what is it customization to it compared to pc but it was really fun it just it took me i think a, about a week to do my first trophy was probably the 24th yeah i remember i did the challenge master first um but there's a couple trophies that i struggled with um 
Let me show you this one. Manager of the year. Because I played Bundesliga. I played um, Bayern for three seasons, which is a long time in this game. It could take a while. And they didn't have the manager of the year until I looked into it. Because there's not a lot of info on this game because there's not a lot of people playing it. That's why it's such a low um, platinum. It's not hard really to get. It's just more... Not a lot of info out there, and I didn't know that you can't get Manager of the Year in uh, Bundesliga. You had to do it in Premier League, so I had to replay a whole nother season just to get that trophy. It was really frustrating. This one I struggled so much on. This one was so frustrating. Uh, I just couldn't do it for the life of me. So yeah, these two trophies, I would take a look and make sure you try to focus on those first if you do uh, go for this Platinum. Uh, after that, I did Infamous First Light. It was kind of boring, not a great game. Um, story was kind of lame, but um, the combat was really fun. I really liked the combat in this game. I just did it because I wanted to do a quicker Platinum after the the uh, those two trophies I was struggling with on the previous game. So I was like, screw it, let me try this. And I mean, I already got a, I popped a trophy and I was like, I gotta do it now. So I did it. Um, the challenges were kind of hard. Some of them were decently hard to deal with. Um, other than that, I was, very easy platinum the 10 million points too it took a while but i got used to it ratchet and clank really easy um a lot better this experience than my previous one because uh the first time i played the ratchet and clank that a uh, death by disco trophy was horrible to deal with but this one is you know it was pretty easy there's one that i had to uh i struggled with because i had to get to level five on one gun because i was so normalized in the other one i was like you had to get level five and all your guns like max upgrade them so i was like okay i'm gonna do it in this game but you didn't have to and i was wasting my time and the one the one gun that i needed to get level five was this one return policy uh for the void reactor and i didn't do it i did like every single gun level five except this one so i wasted a lot of time on that but um it wasn't hard uh let's see doom so <laughs> yeah these uh expansions were I'm never going to do them, probably, because the multiplayer is dead. Dead as hell. Um, I had a few issues with this one. The Ultra Nightmare one, it took me about an hour to do. It wasn't super hard, but it's basically doing the first mission on the hardest difficulty. And I'm really bad at um, games like that. And I was playing on my portal, my PlayStation portal. So the controls are a little weird because it's like a handheld, but that wasn't too hard. There's also a buggy trophy uh where is it the create and publish oh no no it was to play like five snap map maps and this one play five published snap maps i couldn't get it uh, going on and i looked into it and people were having trouble with it and it was so frustrating this one was also bugged the circle is complete this one sucked because i had to replay the whole game like four hours extra because i didn't do all of the runes so please for the love of god if you play this this uh this platinum try to get all the runes every level first time because then you don't have to worry about it but i i had to do that and it was just so frustrating to do um it almost like i may almost stopped like playing the game entirely i know it was like only four more extra hours but at the time i was already so synced into this game I was kind of tired. I just finished all the, the platinum trophies, ex all the trophies except um, that one. Yeah, all, or yeah, it's right there. So like it, I mean, other than that, let's see, these are the two bugged ones I had. So as you can see, those are the two I struggled with the most. But other than that, it was good. It was kind of hard to find multiplayer games, but I just kind of sat there and I found found them. I reached level five pretty quickly too. It was kind of fun, um, but no one's playing it, so. Dead Island 2, I will do the DLC at some point. I'm kind of, I just finished this one, I think about, a, yeah, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. So I don't really want to get to it at the moment, but fun platinum. I mean, wasn't too hard. Um, complete five quests in co-op. That was kind of annoying because I had to replay five quests, basically. Uh, reviving, I had to just, I texted a guy on PlayStation and basically begged him to give me the five, the five revives. He just went down five times shout out to you um but yeah that was kind of annoying but those are the last two i did on those i don't think i had anything like that i struggled a whole lot with i mean nah, it wasn't it wasn't too hard so yeah it was pretty good 
decent game. This War of Mine, one of my favorite games of all time. It's very underrated. No one really knows it. But I used to play it in like 2014 when it came out on my computer. Um, and I saw it was on PlayStation. I was like, screw it. I'm going to do it. And, um, you know, it was, it was not hard. It was pretty easy. It's just not a lot of info out there. But luckily, I knew how to play the game pretty well because I played it a long time ago. So I recommend that one a lot. It was really fun. No really major problems, if I'm correct. I mean, I had to replay the game um, for the epilogue. Uh, where is it at? Oh, yeah, this one. Epilogue ex Exodus. I had to replay the whole game uh, two or three times because I the game bugged on me. But, I mean, it was fine. It was a good game. Really recommend it. It's kind of a learning curve if you don't know what you're doing, but um, there's plenty of videos out there. They're kind of old, they're pretty old videos because no one really plays this game. I wish I recorded this one, but I didn't have my Elgato at the time. Uh, college football. So I didn't know how to play football when I bought this game. I literally just bought it because my friend wanted to play with me. And I don't, I still don't really know how to play football. I'll still play it here and there, but. I didn't even know what a quarterback was. I didn't know what a wide receiver was. I didn't know anything about defense. I didn't know anything about innings or whatever the hell. I don't even know what they're called still. Um, so I still don't really know what the hell is going on. But I got, I got the platinum. Um, it was a little tough. There was a few trophies on here that were absolute nightmarish because I was new to the game. Or new to the sport, you could say. Um... This one, advanced to freshman and road to college football playoff. I was five and twenty-five, five and twenty-five, and I I rage quote a few of them, but it took me like eight hours. Look, no, seven and thirty-three. That's what it said at the top right. Like I was struggling for this damn mode, and I finally found someone online told me to play a um, third tier team and go against a second tier. I played. Uh, UCF at UFC. I don't know the, the name exactly, but uh, it was like a, a black uh, uniform team. But I played that team and I went against, I think, like one or two teams in tier two. And I finally got two wins, but that trophy was a damn nightmare. I hated it so much. Um, the what upset was a little annoying at first, but then when I got that win, it auto popped both of those. Well, no, actually, I didn't. It was way previously. It was a nightmare. Um, yeah, that was rough. There was another trophy that I just I struggled with. Oh, force a turnover. I couldn't get that for the life of me. It was just not working. And then I finally looked it up, and it said I had to do a specific team for the turnovers. So I did it, and then it fixed itself. But yeah, overall, good game. I mean, I'll continue to play at some point. Right now, I'm just focused on other shit. But um, it was a good game. I recommend it. I mean, most people, have, you know, there's so many people that bought it in the United States. So, uh, so I platinum both the Spider-Mans on a previous account, like when they released in 2018 and uh, 20, I think 19 for Miles Morales, maybe 2020. Uh, good games, you know, great games, no problems really. I mean. I think I struggled with like one or two, but I mean, this game, I kind of speed ran both of them because I knew what I was doing. So, uh, but yeah, currently I'm working on Bioshock. That will be my first video that I have on this channel for Platinums. Hopefully you guys enjoy that video when it comes out. I'm doing Jedi Survivor right now too. Um, just been working on it since I bought the game and uh, yeah, good game. I mean, I, I played Fallen Order and I platinum that on my computer. Same as uh, on, I think I platinum it twice actually, um, on two different accounts. But yeah, it Fallen Order was one of my favorite games. I'm not even really into Star Wars, but just I love the the um, open world and the boss fights and the, the I don't know everything about it was just really good. So I enjoyed that game a lot. But I'm gonna go swap over to my Xbox. I'm not I don't have an, an Xbox on me, but I have the xbox app on my computer i'll show you what i have on there nothing crazy but i have a couple more bonus ones and then i can end the video off all right so uh i platinum forager it was a good game it just uh had a lot of bugs because it was made for the pc it was quite obvious when you're playing it the controllers are just all messed up but um 
This game was pretty good. I mean, 0.35 completed. It's one of my lower ones. It's just, there's two or three trophies on here that were just annoying as hell. And Trillionaire took a long time. It was just annoying, way overboard, no reason to do it. Own 100 nuclear structures was pretty stupid too. Just a lot of like grinding unnecessary, unnecessarily. And um, there's one more major, it doesn't sound annoying, but it was like so annoying. But it was basically the one where you are supposed to put a tile in the map and get rid of all the water. And like, you know, like why? <laughs> oh wait, it was, I remember, it's achieve every other feat. It was in the feats. Okay, I remember now. It was a while ago when I did this. I did it in February of last year or so. But in the one of the feats was to get rid of all these water tiles in the map and just fill it in with water. And there was like one or two tiles I couldn't find. And they were just hidden behind like a block or hidden behind or a building. And it was just so frustrating, but I did get it done. And then the probably the hardest platinum I have is the uh, Mortal Kombat 11. This one, God, it was it was hard. So the issue with it is like the group battle one, if I'm correct, this one was pretty annoying. Um, same as Hunter Brutalities. I had to just keep going over and over because I never did Brutalities in the game. And then play 50 casual matches was annoying too. But by far, the hardest one in this game was the Battle uh, AI uh, Simulator sets. No, it's not. Sorry. I don't even remember with this one. This one, it may have been hard, but it was this one. Complete all strategy tutorials. Now let me tell you, these are the worst trophies I've ever had to deal with because the advanced tutorials on this game were so frustrating. I, was, I sat there for like six hours for one of them. It was just, oh my God, you just had to do it perfectly. And it's just basically doing perfect combos on a tutorial until they decide if you did it correctly or not. That was so annoying. 20, 250 towers were annoying too, but oh my goodness, this is horrible. Such a horrible, horrible trophy. So yeah, I think that's all. Let me check my other account real quick. Yeah, that, that'll be all trophies I have. I mean, I did Astro's, Astro's uh, play Playroom, whatever it's called as well, but I don't really care for that one. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in another video.